Okay, now we have edited our photos within iPhoto, and now it's time to share them and export them. So there are a couple different ways to export your photos or quickly share them. The first, I'm just gonna go over the Share tab up at the top. You can easily share photos through iCloud, Messages, Email, straight to Facebook, Flickr, or Twi Twitter. You can set it as your backdrop photo on your desktop. You can also get to these share options down here on the bottom right, and there are actually a few more, such as creating a book, a card, slideshow, printing, or ordering prints even. But say you just want to export the photo so that you can have control of it and not do any of these sort of automatic publishing things, which is typically what I tend to do. I like exporting them myself. So if you go up to File, Export, or Shift, Command, E, this, this little dialog box pops up. You can change the type. You can change the quality. So we can choose from low, medium, high to maximum. Size, so you can change it to a different dimension. So you can change the pixels to, say, 2,000 pixels. And then you can change your file name. So if you want to use a title that you want to choose, you can do that. Or you can use sequential file names like we learned about in Lightroom. There are a couple other options here for exporting to a web page and slideshow. But basically, I just want to show you how to do the basic export as a JPEG image here. Then it asks you to rename it. So we'll say this. Fill in Catalina and it will export it and then if we go to our finder and go to our desktop where we saved it we will have a fill in Catalina photo 2000 pixels wide which is what we chose it's a JPEG 536 kilobytes large and there you have it you can take this print it share it with friends post it online do whatever you want with it. And that's how you export from iPhoto. And that wraps up this short little section on editing photos in iPhoto. There's a lot more you can do within iPhoto and within all of these editing programs. So I I've asked you to please just check them out, see what you can do, and play around. That's the best way to learn and the best way I've ever learned anything is just playing around with the different tools that I have. So thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.